Oh boy, Jeep's got a bit of a rant coming, I can feel. And this one is going to be about trees. Specifically, what's happening to this particular part of the forest. Stay with me. Oh boy, here we go. Whenever I see a sign like that one, I cringe a little bit at the thought of what I'm going to find when I get down there. I'm taking a little break at this section of the Crown land. I want to show you a selective logging operation. When I mean selective, they're taking the larger hardwood and leaving the smaller trees. And if you've noticed this hike that I've been on, the trees have been pretty small. And they've also been very dense. And this is why. This entire area has been designated for logging. Now this isn't the first time that I've run across a logging operation like this. And I'm fairly certain it won't be the last. The last time I looked into this, I found out that most of this wood that's been harvested here is going to end up as somebody's firewood. Now I say this is destined to become firewood instead of dimensional lumber used for building simply because they get more money if they sell it as firewood. I guess high fuel prices, high oil prices have increased the demand for firewood and drove the price up, making this operation more profitable if they sell it as firewood. Now there is a lot of wasted wood which eventually will just rot and become part of the forest. But I think in this spot here, I'd probably be able to make campfires for the rest of my life with what they've left behind. But that's not really the point. Now, as you know from a few videos back, I've been doing a little research on trees and specifically how long it takes us to grow ones the size of the ones you see behind me here. 50, 60 years is not an unreasonable amount of time to have to wait to get trees this big. I just did a quick count of a couple of centimeters of this one here and estimated it's got to be getting closer to 75 years. Maybe these ones behind me might be getting closer to the 100 year mark. My point is this, I don't think we should be cutting the wood off of the crown land anymore. Because I don't think the end user is actually paying what it's really worth. I know some of the people that I've spoken to on YouTube talk about forests in their country where they're not allowed to do anything because there's precious little of it left. How valuable are those forests? I mean, if we were actually growing these trees behind me for firewood, how long would it take us before we had a crop that we could cut and sell? I think this wood behind me would be much, much more valuable. Some of the people I've talked to about this will say, well, it's jobs, it's good for the economy. But a modern forestry operation like this one will probably employ two or three people out here running the machinery needed to cut this firewood. It's not a lot of jobs. I think there's something much more valuable that we're losing. It seems to me as I think more and more about these forestry operations, what we seem to be doing is every generation takes stock of the natural forests that we have left, divides them up, some for recreational use, some for forestry operations like this, and away we go, and then we do it again, the next generation, and the next generation. And what we seem to be doing is taking one piece of cake and dividing it up so everybody has a piece, and then when we're back at it again, that same cake, we divide it up some more so everybody has a much smaller piece, and so on, and so on. Eventually you're going to be dividing up nothing. There's going to be no cake left. Anyway, I'd be very curious to see what you guys have to say about my comments and what you've seen here today.
let me know. I'd love to read them. Can I just comment on the ridiculous idea that this sign is solar powered, environmentally friendly? <laughs> Sorry.